Hi, I'm Tiffany Greco from CND and I'm honored to show you how to create and customize beautiful even smile lines time after time. Proper smile line placement can elongate the look of any nail and give it sleekness, elegance, and beauty. Smile line placement is just one important component for good design. When properly placed, the smile line will complement the overall design. Today, I'll show you how to place a very natural smile line to complement a nice natural nail, and we'll also do a more dramatic look showing how to create the illusion of a longer, sleeker nail bed on any natural nail condition. These techniques will help you save time as well as keep clients coming back. So, pick up your favorite CND sculpting brush and give it a try. I have already applied and blended tips and prepped my clients' natural nails. I have also applied a performance form on a prep nail for sculpting. For a step-by-step -step on prep, please refer to the CND website. Choose the liquid and powder system that best suits the client's needs and fashion preference. I've chosen Perfect Color Powder in pure white and pure pink for the perfect clean forever French look and retention plus liquid for maximum adhesion on clients with oily skin or a potential for lifting. Beginning with a clean brush, dip the brush all the way to the bottom of the dappen dish of monomer and gently press the hairs to spread them flat. Rock the brush back and forth to be sure all hairs have been coated with liquid while eliminating any air that may be trapped between hairs. Using the side of the dish, flatten the hairs of the brush to drain excess liquid and prepare it for sculpting with a medium wet mix ratio. When using white or heavily pigmented powders, Look for an opaque bead with an orange peel-like texture. The correct mix ratio assures color consistency, excellent adhesion, and helps to prevent a marbleized effect in the enhancement. Bead size and consistency is controlled by the amount of liquid in the brush. For smaller beads, use less liquid and powder. Dip only the tip of the brush into the liquid and drain the excess liquid. Larger beads require more liquid and powder. This time, dip the entire brush into the liquid and flatten the flags using lighter pressure. Place the bead in the middle of zone one, up to, but not on or beyond the free edge line. Let the bead settle and don't wipe your brush. You'll need the liquid to keep the bead creamy and pliable for up to a three minute sculpting time. Be sure to practice balance point positioning by connecting your sculpting hand pinky with your holding hand pinky for stability. Press up on one side into the corner of the smile line to begin establishing the depth of your smile line. Continue to press along the line and up into the other corner of the smile line. Be sure to establish the entire line, including both corners, immediately when the product is most workable. Use small controlled presses to fill in the smile line. Smooth the entire zone to ensure an even surface for less filing. If needed, wipe excess liquid out of the brush and use the flags to clean and refine the line. Next, complete zones two and three. For complete application details, refer to the CND website. To create the illusion of a longer looking nail bed, use the fingertip as a guideline versus the natural free edge line. Place the bead farther down in zone one. When sculpting on a form, the same techniques apply. For a deeper smile line, resist pressing into the center of zone one. Ease the product further up into the corners, forming an extreme V shape. Use small controlled presses to fill in the smile lines. Use the angle of the brush to keep the extension edge thin and tapered, while leaving the smile line thicker for proper balance and establishment of the upper arch. Use the angle of the brush to keep the extension edge thin and tapered, while leaving the smile line thicker for proper balance and establishment of the upper arch. Smooth the entire zone to create an even surface for less filing and to ensure a thin tapered edge. You may use your sculpting brush to detail your smile line as long as the monomer has been removed by wiping on a clean lint free towel.
To complete the illusion of a longer nail bed, camouflage zones two and three by using perfect color opaque powders or a custom blend. For a complete step-by-step -step on custom color blending, refer to the CND website. Whether producing a natural looking forever French enhancement or illusion sculpting, creating beautiful consistent smile lines can dramatically change the overall design and look of the hand and nail. Thanks for joining me today and I'll see you in class.